When I say bananas, you say peppers. Today, we are opening a box that I've never unboxed on any channel ever before. And it's kind of a new thing that I must admit, I don't completely 100% understand exactly what's going on here. This is a gigantic K-Beauty kind of mystery box, kind of subscription box. This is coming from a company that I've been receiving product from for quite a while now. It's always just been like a surprise to my P.O. box from the very first box. What I've always known them as is a K-Beauty, maybe J-Beauty face mask subscription service. I think I had been getting them for a couple of years and I would always get a box and it would be full of different exciting sheet masks. But now for a couple of months, I've been getting this larger box that seems to have not only the normal face mask subscription box inside of it, but also just a bunch of random and cool K-Beauty products. Like I said, I don't really know if this is a subscription service or if this is just like PR that they're sending because it does seem like they have a more expansive website now where you can just choose to buy K-Beauty products from it. So I don't know if they're just kind of like putting this together as a PR thing to um, show us like a sampling of what you can get. I have no idea, but I have been getting a box like this for the past couple of months. It's always this big. It always looks the same. I think the packaging is so cute. I always love like this little carrot with a couple of legs or something. I'm excited to see what's gonna be inside. If only I could find the night. Slicing, slicing. Just saw that this came to me March 1st. So if this is a subscription box, maybe you could still get this box. I don't know. Maybe there will be some information on the inside. Oh my gosh, yes, look, there's a card. Ooh, also we have bubble wrap. Ooh. Why do I always love doing this? Look at that. I just made a hat and a scarf. Why have I not been invited to fashion week yet? I do have a 25% off coupon code and this is not sponsored or affiliated. I don't get anything if you guys use that code. So this is the information that I have, right? Why do I, why do I still have this on my head? It does look like this is more along the lines of PR. I think that they've included both of their monthly subscription services in here and then a couple of bonus items because it does just say our subscriptions. So on one hand, they have a beauty box which includes skincare and makeup and you get six full size items or you can get the mask maven box which is all the kind of like sheet mask products and it looks like you get nine masks in there which can include wash off lip eye body masks and more let's just deep dive in here the first thing i see on top is this fabulous hollow envelope okay so this looks like the sheet mask subscription oh my gosh okay so this looks like it was the um february collection we have a sheet mask in here that says essence mask roses and it's got a whole uh checklist here of benefits that i can't read a charcoal sheet mask pomegranate vitality sheet mask Ooh, vitality um we also have this one feels a little different like a little chunkier in there i thought maybe it was for hands or something um this i don't even understand these words it's a pore refining mask from my beauty diary maybe it has like some sort of i almost said Cactal? I'm almost sure you can at no point ever comfortably reference cactuses as cactal, but I sure did just try. I kind of don't know what the beneficial ingredients of cactus is, but maybe that's what it's implying. I don't know. This is a pore minimizing black mask. It's also a sheet mask and we have thumbs up times three. This one looks very similar to the rose mask, but it is lotus 
we have this, which is a, I'm not going to be able to say Hyrulean, Hyrulean moisturizing mask, which is also a facial sheet mask. We have a hyaluronic acid sheet mask and, ooh, oh, I'm very excited about this one. Okay, I'm going to do this one tonight. It's an espresso face mask. My gosh, if I didn't just absorb coffee into my body in every type of way, then how would I survive? I'm, I'm drinking coffee. This is like my fourth gigantic carafe of coffee today. You leave this on for 10 to 20 minutes. It's supposed to be relaxing. I don't know what the benefit of coffee is. I also have just this in here, which is a product that I've actually ordered from Yes Style before. I absolutely love this hand cream. Not only is the packaging absolutely adorable, it smells nice. I think it does wonders. It's called Moisture milk hand cream. I'm trying to discover what brand this is. Oh yeah, Esfolio. <laughs> There's something else I don't know how to pronounce. Here is something else that looks like it's kind of like a bonus product in here, which is for some reason called adult body peeling mist. I guess they just mean don't put it on kids. Now this stuff is actually wickedly fascinating. So I'm going to go ahead and try and spray it on my arm. I'm not sure if I've ever shown you guys how a product like this works or not. I've never had a product like this in a spray form before. I've only ever had them like a lotion. Um, but this, oh, oh my gosh, it's such a trip. This is going to blow you guys' mind. Okay. So you spray it on and then watch this. Okay, you just like go in light circular motions. And can you guys see this? Maybe not. Maybe I don't have that much dead skin there as I thought I would. Have I been doing good with my exfoliations? Let me try a different part. I feel like this is kind of spraying in my mouth a little bit. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to show this to you guys like desperately. Let's try like the crook of the arm. Yeah, okay, that looks nice and juicy. Do you guys see that little bunches of gray stuff here? That's my skin sloughing off for you. Um, I don't know why I just said for you, as if this is some sort of demented Valentine. They definitely tell you to use it on like elbows, heels, kneecaps, all kinds of stuff like that. Um, and it's just supposed to help you exfoliate and slough off dead dry skin. And you guys, I think I'm gonna start spray tanning again. So I feel like products like this are about to be very integral in my life. I don't know why I've just been missing spray tanning so much. I think I'm just gonna go to a new salon that I've never been to before. That sounds smart, I know. And I'm gonna try it out for one month and see if I like it or I don't. And then I will make my final decision from there if I'm gonna like start spray tanning again. I don't know. I felt like it just like made me feel healthier. It's sort of like that fake it till you make it mentality. I think when you just like wake up and you look at yourself in the mirror and you're just like glowing and bronzy. It just like gives you this feeling of like health and vitality. I miss it. It was fun. And it was like definitely like part of this daily routine that I had for a really long time. Anyway, this is not a video about spray tanning routines. Although those were some of the very first videos that I made here on YouTube. Oh my god, you guys, this product is a flashback from the past. It's a series that I keep swearing every week I'm going to revive on Graveyard Girl and then for whatever reason I never do. But this was from our maybe our very first episode of World's Weirdest. I think the brand is Lee's. These are actually from A Pew. I don't know how to say that either. But these are called Messy Hair Essence Tissues. We'll go ahead and refresh you guys' memory just in case you didn't watch that video from like three years ago. But it's basically like the um, essence of a makeup remover wipe, but it's for your hair. If you have flyaways, if your hair is frizzy, this is just supposed to um, freshen it up and keep 
the messiness at bay. I don't know, like it smells amazing, honestly. Like if you're just looking for a product to like refresh the scent of your hair, I don't know how crazy that sounds, but I could see like maybe if you were working out midday and then, you know, I don't know, had to go somewhere else really quick and you would just want to like get the smell of sweat out of your hair. This is disgusting. Uh, then these would come in really handy. I love the smell of them, but just personally for me, I don't feel like, oh, well, <laughs> like it's just kind of working because it makes your hair a little bit damp, but I'm not sure like what the lasting benefits of it are in terms of like flyaways and frizziness and stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? This honestly looks like maybe it's a charcoal infused set of washcloths. It just says popular on the front. Oh my gosh, no. Okay, this is a set. Oh no, it's just one, it's a headband. My gosh, how many times am I gonna be surprised by this one product? I feel like I'm like, oh, it's a bird, it's a plane. No, it's a freaking deer headband. Um, and I can't fit it on my head. I swear, I literally have one of the most rotund heads on the planet. Like I always want to buy cute headbands and sunglasses and stuff. And I literally, they just squeeze my last two brain cells out of my head. Look at how tight this is. Like I feel like I'm like, just going like this now. This is Aqua All-in-One Ampule. And um, I guess that that's trying to say that it will immediately increase moisture by 50%. This looks really cool. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to tell on camera cause the bottle is so dark. Like I feel like I'm seeing it in real life so I can see it like sloshing around in there, but it looks like a gel because it is. Um, but it's like kind of thin. I don't know, I'm gonna, oh my gosh. I have no way of showing you guys this without spilling the product everywhere. But it literally just feels only slightly thicker than water. That's amazing. I feel like I'm gonna like just slather this on my hands and wrists because 911, I am having a dry hand and wrist emergency. Okay, moving on to this box, which I bet is the, what did I call this? Um, the the K-Beauty subscription box, the one that is makeup and skincare. I think that that's what's gonna be inside box number two. Okay, this is crazy. Um, you know what? I think maybe it comes like in arrears, if that makes sense. So actually in March, you would get February's box unless they were just sending me um, an older box. I don't know, but this has the exact same like February thing on top. And then like very clearly it has a cute candy heart sticker on the top, which how weird is that? I think I read somewhere that this Valentine's day was like the first Valentine's day in 90 years that conversation hearts were not available. It's like the company the original company went out of business and like got sold to somebody else, but they didn't have time to manufacture the hearts for this year. How weird is that? This is what we have inside. So the very first thing that we have in here is a tool and it's an eyebrow razor. And I've never tried an eyebrow razor. I have tried a little razor before to like shave all the baby hairs off of my face. Ooh, up next is something that I bet I'm going to love. It's a hair product and it's a hair perfume mist. And this is in the fragrance Coral Peach. I have no idea what that means. I love perfumes and scents. I just love smelling. Okay, I'm so glad that this is a scent that I love. It has almost like a peachy, fruity smell, uh, almost like a peach pear. I would a thousand percent use this. I absolutely love this. Anytime the word perfume is around anything, I'm always pretty excited to try it. Up next is a prickly pear soothing gel. This honestly looks like a big old tub of slime. Ooh, it does, it smells really nice, but it has a very light 
perfume fragrance. So I think it's very similar to this aqua ampoule. It's just meant to moisturize. And I'm assuming that this is like an all over body moisturizer, just based on the size of the product. If not, this is like a lifetime supply for your face. Up next, we have a product in this little purple box. And this is for the eyes. And it's a Collagen Power Firming Eye Cream. That is the kind of applicator that it has. I bet it's gonna be a clear product. Eh, kind of like a milky clear color. We have a mascara, which is from the brand Farmstay. Actually never heard of or tried this brand before. So this is for a rich and curvy eyelash. The packaging is like almost kind of triangular shaped tube. It does just look like a nice rich black and I love thick mascara wands like that. The last thing in the box is this very cute um, nose mask. So I think it just says one stop clearing. Um, so I'm assuming that it's one of those like um, you know, like the nose strips, like a Bior nose strip where you just apply it, wet it, leave it on until it dries, and then you like extract blackheads and stuff out of your nose. I think it's one of those. The last thing in the box looks like it's just some extra face masks. Um, this doesn't seem to be like part of a monthly subscription or anything, unless I'm getting confused and then maybe this is March's bundle. We have a kelp sheet mask natural grinding extraction process natural adhesive mask maybe this is just like one giant pore strip for your entire face imagine that hyaluronic acid i feel like i have several products that have this as an ingredient and i feel like that's just supposed to be very moisturizing um we have urban city aqua ring mask I feel like it's all sheet masks this month. I have gotten like foot masks, hand masks. I think even the, isn't this area called the decolletage, um, where it's like the neck kind of like upper chest area. This one is so cute. Um, and this actually look, looks like it's going to be one of those more like rubbery type collagen masks. Um, but I honestly, you guys know I'm a sucker for packaging, like the cuter, the better. Um, we have another charcoal face mask. Um, then we have this one, which has a really cute packaging as well. It's called the Eggy Skin Mask. So this is another, um, sheet mask and this one doesn't, oh, it just says skin firming. Uh, none of the rest of this appears to be in English. So sometimes I feel like you just get like the basic title of the mask to know what it's for. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Okay, I feel like we should try this one in a video, honestly. I've never had a face mask like this. So this is called a bubble peeling pad. And it actually looks like you get a little, um, you know, almost like a powder puff in here. So you're supposed to cut it open and then there's a liquid aspect that you put in here. And then I think it said you mix it together. It says make a lot of bubble with hand rub pouch. And then you just pat it on your face for one minute and then um, it exfoliates. So then you're supposed to flip it over and like wipe your face off. I, don't, I almost feel like we could do a whole miniature first impression Friday with this thing. Then I have Dr. Logi. This is a moisture mask sheet from Tony Moly. I love this packaging. We have a glowing luminous flower firming mask. Once again, looks like it has something to do with roses. And then last, we have a Juicy Mojito Clearing Mask that's lime and peppermint. And I feel like normally you get more masks like these ones usually, like more kind of like cutesy, super fun packaging. Um, but some months in the past, I've gotten them where they've kind of been more like this, where they're a little bit more 
plain which i don't know i feel like that's just me i'm kind of a sucker like i like things that are like cute and flashy and like i'm more enticed to buy products like that but i feel like maybe sometimes it's products like this that aren't so flashy but maybe they have a lot of benefits and active ingredients to them so to each their own but you gotta let me know down below are you more enticed to buy like cutesy flashy things or are you kind of like more of an ingredient based person um where the packaging and stuff doesn't really matter to you so that's today's question of the day. Let me know down below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I feel like it was definitely longer than intended. Sometimes things work out that way. But thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today and for watching, for spending a little sassy banana peppers time. Um, if you're not already, hit the button down below, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and become a full-fledged member of the Banana Pepper Squad today. Until I see you guys again, stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all very, very soon. Bye!